Well, of course, that was the big question today with President Biden, because he mistakenly said that, he, that Putin would have to be removed. Um, the fact is, it could remove Putin simply because it's, authoritarian countries are very good at repressing people, particularly in Russia and China and uh, Iran. They've made it a virtual science. It is a lot easier to deny people uh, certain rights, free speech, free assembly. It's more difficult to deny them any future. And what the Russian sanctions are doing is it's telling an entire population, you have no future, you can't travel. Uh, Fortune 500 companies have left your, your, your nation. You have limited employment uh, possibilities. Uh, your savings just got cut in half because the ruble is worth half than what it was a month ago. That's the type of threat that people like Putin worry about. Remember, Russia has a long history of food riots. You know, that's what brought the czars down. It's when they tried to crush mothers, you know, going to the Kremlin to demand food. Uh, a hungry population is a very dangerous thing. And so, yeah, it could do that. You know, the biggest concern that many of us have is that Putin really is a narcissist. And none of us really know how he will react if he thinks his own survival's on the line. Um, we have already seen a rash of arrests. We've seen a crackdown in Russia. Uh, and he's acting in ways that even though he was a lethal, murderous dictator, he's never acted this irrationally in his career. In fact, the only good thing that people had to say about Putin was that he was rational. He was completely evil in what he did, but he was rationally evil. It's hard to see any rationality here. There is no end game, and I think Putin knows it.